I just I walked in and I found them like this. I did find this kind of cool little like toy gun here though, where you know it looks like maybe somebody was in here and they were just spawning a bunch of these guys and then killing them. But that doesn't sound very nice, so I'm not sure. Oh. That poor guy has no leg. So some of them are dismembered. I wonder if that's uh, going on there. Oh, that poor guy's stuck in the ceiling. Oh. That's unfortunate. Hey guys. Alright, you know, I was just wondering how you're doing. I'm gonna say hi. Excuse me. Get the fuck out of the way. There we go. So, today I want to talk to you guys about gun safety. And why you should never point a gun unless you're willing to kill somebody. So see, I was willing to kill those guys. So they died. Uh, I'm not willing to kill this guy. No. But I pointed my gun at him, and when I did that, I accidentally discharged. And then he died. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, another thing you should probably never do. I mean, even if it's not loaded. See, it's not loaded, right? Like, there's, there's no magazine in a while, so I can safely just... Oh. oh, right. Right, there was that one in the chamber. Sorry about that. Yeah, this guy right here. This guy right here, he's got the right idea. He knows that was a mistake. That right there. Yeah. Oh. But he looks very judgmental. You've almost got that look on your face. I thought you would have learned from his mistake. You know, it's okay. I'm gonna let that go. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to talk to you guys about gun safety. Here, why don't you hold this for me? should probably also never put it in your mouth, but you just gave me that idea, so... Here, you wanna... Just uh. fucking open your mouth! Jesus Christ! You saw that, right? He wouldn't open his mouth. It wasn't my fault. Don't judge me, guys. Don't judge me. Okay, again, on the topic of guns... <sighs> Jesus Christ, okay. I'm just gonna put that down. So, on the topic of gun safety... Never point a weapon like this one at someone you're not willing to kill. You've got the right idea. You know what? You should be upset. Why don't you just show me how you feel? You know, it was a really bad form. It's a good one. You got. Oh, okay. You feel better now. So. Don't you just... <laughs> uh, yes, I just mounted his face. <laughs> Why are you judging me? This is normal. And now you... What? You... Excuse me? I hope you don't treat all of your guests this way. Excuse me. Right. While we're on the topic of gun safety, let's talk about explosives. This seems to be stuck, but if I just 
wiggle it. There we go. Okay, so this is an explosive, and this would be used for killing like a bunch of people. So you definitely don't want to point this unless you're willing. Huh. Okay, well, that gun made a liar out of me because that didn't even kill one person. Thank you. See what I have on the menu here. A utility gun. That sounds harmless, right? Just a utility gun. Let me pick this up and we can spawn forts. See? Oh, it's broken. There we go. Uh, we can also spawn something called a fragmentation knife. And these have to be particularly careful with. They're sharp. So. Alright. Well, what a fragmentation knife is, it's just like a regular knife where if you were to say, like, stick it in someone's back, it would hurt them. And you can even. But as you saw there, unlike a normal knife, uh, they tend to explode. Jesus, I'm sorry, guy. That really looks painful. Hey, let's put uh, one-legged Fred out of his misery here. Sorry, bud. So that concludes today's lesson on gun safety. Why don't you go ahead and kill each other? Oh, that was a bad throw. Huh. The way he fell was rather amusing, but I'm concerned. Sir, are you okay? Are you okay? Also rather heavy. If I'm remembering correctly, I'll put one up here. Yeah, it takes two hands. Uh, I could probably miss one. See, harmless, just harmless. Unless it spawns inside of you. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. Oh! are also dangerous.
so uh, I think that concludes today's class. Hey, uh, let me help you. Slightly worse. So, huh, there's only like three of you left. I hope your parents will be here soon and you guys can explain this mess to them because you're really disobedient today. Please, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Thank you for joining me on today's trip, and enjoy your flight. <laughs> Sorry about that, sir. Have to give him a free flight on the house. Your turn. Oh. Did you want to kiss me? I really don't. Just hang out up here for a while, I think about what you've done. Oh, oh I forgot when you drop that, it uh, kind of drops you too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we'll just call that a mistake. Uh, okay. Um, so, lucky for you, we seem to have ironed out all the kinks with our frequent flyer program. And you can enjoy a complimentary trip. Just grab you by the top of your head, and away we go. Let's see, I believe your destination was outside. Oh, sorry, that's a skylight. We don't want to. Ha, here we go. Oh, you okay? Sorry about that guy. Huh. What are you doing? You good up here? Just hang out for a while. Think about what you've done. Sorry about that. Um. That concludes today's lesson. Again. <laughs>